Hi everybody, how are you doing? Welcome back. If you are new here, this channel is called Light Fragments Oracle. And the name is a spin-off from my Oracle card deck that I created in 2014. But I'm so glad you're here with me tonight. And for all of you that have been with me on this journey for the past year, I just wanted to let you know thank you. Thank you so much for supporting me. You have no idea how you impact my life. You really don't. Maybe you just get on YouTube and you surf around and you found my channel and you liked some of the content and so you said, well, I'm going to, I'm going to subscribe to this channel. And you took a chance on me and you're still here. And it's a community. It has turned out to be a lovely community. I know that not all of you agree with everything I say and not all of you agree with everything I do. But you love me and it shows and I feel it. And I just want to let you know how grateful and thankful I am for your presence here on my channel. Anywho, thank you again. I love you so much. Blowing everybody kisses. And I've made some really nice friends on this channel. Feel very blessed. It's hard to picture that on your end right? But on my end, it's just me and a camera and my dogs. <laughs> but I feel it and I sense it. Let's get on with today's video. A couple of things I wanted to tell you. I also wanted to show you this picture. I was impressed to share this picture for some reason. But this is an, a very old picture of my mother and my sister and I one Christmas Day evening, not Eve, Christmas Day evening. And my mother has her pajama shift on and we have our pajamas and we're sitting. And I hope that you can see this, but this is me and this is my younger sister. I think that's Snoopy. <laughs> and that was a doll that was really popular at the time. And this is my mother. And this frame was given to me by one of my customers because she didn't want it anymore. And it just fits so perfectly. So I'm going to put my mom... right there so you can see her i might i might leave that right there for a while just so she can be with me okay so what we're going to do tonight is i'm going to do another lisa eldritch foundation sample application on my face because i had a problem I paused my video and I never took it off and you guys never got to see me put it on my face. And I also took out a palette that I got from Timu, boy, back in, I don't know, April, March, maybe March. And I might have used it once and it's the Ting Fei Glam Palette. It is Chinese. And I thought that I would use this eye palette tonight. And I really, really want to use my new winged aligner EO6 by Sigma. So I took out my Sephora turquoise pot liner to go with my shirt. So let's get into the makeup. And for those of you that inquired about the Makeup Revolution Jelly Gloss. They don't make this anymore. 
they don't make it anymore. But you can get comparable glosses. I would imagine they're around the same formula. There is a clear gloss, but it is in different packaging and it does have little gold flecks in it. So I apologize. I love this gloss. I use it all the time. It's easy. I don't know why they do away with these kinds of glosses. These are just so easy to use, but you know, they're always changing things and I cannot control that. So let's put on <clears throat> the primer. I'm going to use the Machillo primer, which I'm really loving. Typically, I don't use a primer. Um, I use my Makeup Revolution Miracle Cream, which I am still loving. I almost ordered another jar the other day because I'm like, Makeup Revolution, if you get rid of this, you're crazy. It's great. It really is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. Not quite sure about the serum. I prefer Charlotte's serum, but it's the way it feels on my skin. But the Miracle Serum does do the same thing. It just feels differently on my skin. And you know, when you get used to something, how that goes. All right, let's put on some of this primer. I'm only going to use one pump. Wow, that's not very much, so let me score it out a little more. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> I didn't have, I didn't pump it a full pump. If you would like a really great primer, go to Machillo. The link is in the description. You can get a discount. I am really loving this primer. One of the things I love about this primer is that I don't really feel it on my skin. You know how sometimes primers are sticky? Well, this this goes, it sinks right in. It leaves a velvety texture on my skin. And when I go to put on my foundation, my foundation, my foundation just glides right on. And I forgot to put this on with the Lisa Eldritch foundation the last time I tried it. And I would have to say that with that foundation, you have to use a primer or at least some sort of moisture because it dries really quickly. Now that is already sunk in to my skin. So the colors that I'm going to be using tonight, I'm going to use one for foundation and one for a contour. I'm not big into contouring. I'm a novice, but I want to try it. And so that's why I'm going to use it tonight. I'm using the color light medium 15. And this is the shade. In the camera, it has a yellow tinge to it, but it doesn't have a yellow tinge on my skin. And then for the contour color, I'm using the darker medium shade, number 24. And this is the color. So it is dark. It looks orange in here, but out here it looks like a cocoa brown. So let's begin with the foundation. I'm going to put more on tonight than I did the last time because I did have to put a second application on last time. In my mirror that's a really good match. I wonder if I should turn my light to a different color. 
Let me try that. Okay. Well, it still doesn't look the same. But I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it at this. So, Lisa said that we can use our fingers to put on this foundation. And what I'm going to do this time is I am going to use my fingers because the warmth of my fingertips will help the foundation spread. And I have to tell you, I really enjoyed the look of that foundation. In fact, it lasted. It lasted the whole time I was wearing it. So I went down my neck, and you can see it blends really nicely. And I took it up just slightly underneath my eyes. It goes on really well with this primer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back now with my Beauty Blender and I'm just going to pat the foundation in like so. A little bit is coming off. I washed this before I sat down. That really makes a seamless look. But this is this is my issue. I'm gonna take my Angie Hot and Flashy concealer brush. There's a number on it, but I'm not wearing my glasses. You all know what it is anyway by now, I'm sure. It's the A506 concealer brush. I love this for highlighting. I love this for um, touching up any imperfections that I have. So I'm going to take a little bit of this foundation. And I'm going to go back. And I'm going to dot it on some of my spots. Okay, now I'm just going to kind of brush the foundation over my eyelids and pat under my eyes. Go in the corner. I think that this foundation gives you a seamless look. And it's no wonder it's called the Seamless Skin Foundation. I'm so glad that I got samples uh, because I had told you guys I wasn't going to purchase any foundation, but I could handle $9, and that's why I did it. And I still have all of these to use if I want to contour. So before I do any contouring, I'm going to take my Natasha Denona Concealer, and I'm going to... <clears throat> work from light to dark. So I'm going to put some of this concealer right like that. And I'm going to I'm doing I'm doing something different tonight, okay? I'm a novice.
I'm pretending that I'm 25 years old. And I'm going to go back with this brush. And it's got a little bit of the foundation on it, but not much. And I'm going to pat this concealer on my forehead in a V. And then I'm going to blend from the corner of my eye back I'm going to do my mouth area. And I'm also going to do my chin, just in the center. Now, this is a lot of makeup for me. This is a lot of makeup, but I would do something like this if I were going to a special event or if I were uh, going to a party at night where there were dim lights. I really love the Natasha Denona concealer. I mean... <laughs> If you want my honest opinion, the incognito is my first choice because I have such good luck with that. But the Natasha Denona concealer is my second choice. And I think it's worth every penny. If you're going to be just using one concealer and you're not a content creator, it's, it's worth the money. Okay, whatever is left on my brush, I'm just going to pat over my eye area. Just to brighten that up a little bit. So far, so good. This whole area has been highlighted with the concealer. Now we're going to go and put on the contour. I'm going to get another brush. I'm going to use this brush right here. And I'm going to contour from the middle of my ear, right underneath my cheekbone, all the way down to the center of my eye. Maybe not quite the center, maybe just a little bit to the left of my pupil on this side and a little bit to the right with my pupil on this side, to my pupil on this side. So... This is going to be a light contour because it's a foundation. Right there. Okay, right there's my cheekbone. right there. I'm going to contour a little bit right here. And I have a high forehead, somewhat high. So I'm going to bring the contour all the way across like that. 
And because I have a thin nose, I don't feel like I have to contour my nose, but you can see where the shadows are. So I'm just going to put a line right here. See? And I'm going to put a line on the other side where the shadow is. Now I'm going to put a chisel line on my chin. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to go all the way across. Notice I'm going on my jawline. Just like this. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this brush. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to set it aside in case I need more contouring. And I'm going to get a flat brush. This is my flat Kabuki. I could also get away with using this, which isn't quite so flat, and I have another flat brush as well, but this one is smaller. And I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to blend in the contour with the foundation. But I'm not swirling. I don't want to swirl it all over the place. I just kind of want to blend it in with the foundation. And I don't want you to worry about this because you can always take a little bit of your foundation after the fact. Now, this is drying because I've been talking. But, so I'm doing the same thing on this side. And I'm just going to blend across up to my hairline, trying not to get any in my hair because I have gray hair. I don't have dark brown hair. I have gray hair. But I'll show you what I do about that afterwards in case you have gray hair. And you want to do something like this. So now, the way I do it is I come down just gently with what's still on my brush and I curve in underneath my cheekbone. Take it and just curve in under my cheekbone. Jawline, same thing you're going to just drag your dense flat brush right across your jawline. And then you're going to brush down. Now, because I have medium skin, this does not make me look dirty. Some of you guys have commented about that. But I can understand if you have really, really light light skin, you want to go with a concealer that is just a tone or two below the concealer that you use for your under eye. And you can still get the same effect. You do not need to use these dark contour colors. So let me repeat that. If you have light light skin and you want to contour, you can use concealer and go just two tones darker than what you would use under your eyes to conceal or to highlight. Okay? And neutral would be better. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the side of my nose and it's the same deal. I'm just going to pull outward. Press and pull. Okay, you can see it right here. And I'm not happy with that. So I'm going to go back with my cat's paw and some of the foundation just a little bit. I'm not, you know, I'm not taking a ton of foundation here. And I'm just going to blend that in. See how much better that looks now that I did some blending? I can take the Natasha Denona concealer. I could have gotten a color lighter than this, a tone lighter, but this matches my skin perfectly. I'm just going to make a thin line down my nose like that. Not even all the way down. You, you can skip this step, step because you can use highlighter. And I'm just going to blend that right down my nose. And one of the reasons that I do it after is because this area is so thin that I don't want to mess up what I did before. Up here, I don't need to worry. Here, I don't need to worry. Here, I don't need to worry. You know, here maybe a little bit, but not much. So that is my skin sculpted. Now, if I really want to get daring here, and I feel like being daring, I'm going to get my Believe Beauty bronzer. I think this is called Sundown. Golden Sienna. <laughs> Boy, was I off. Um, and I am going to sculpt just a little bit more because this is neutral. This is a very neutral bronzer. By the way, you can also use eyeshadow. And I'm going to take my, my thin... Real Techniques Fairy Brush. And I'm going to swirl, tap, and do the same thing. Because I want a little bit more definition. See what I did? I don't want my face to be all the same color. I don't. See what I did? And the fact that I contoured there makes it a beautiful base to add some powder. I can do the same right here. I can just go back and lightly brush above where I contoured. And you know, because I love makeup so much and I love creativity, I know how this makes me feel. I mean, inside I feel the same 24-7 as far as about myself in a good way, in a wholesome way. But this just gives me a boost and I love, go to Dollar General if you can and get this Golden Sienna if you have the same skin tone that I have, which is a light medium to medium in the winter and a full-blown medium, even a little darker in the summertime. Okay, now let's move over to... I'm not going to put any highlighter on. I'm just going to go back with my e.l.f. This is actually the concealer sponge. And I like it because there's a point. I'm just going to dab under my eyes. I'm going to dab up around my hairline. And since this is clean, let me show you what I do. See how I got makeup in my hair? I take this sponge... 
and I just kind of brush the makeup back into my hair. Check it out. That's how much makeup got in my hair. So if you have a damp, clean sponge, you can clean your hair all at the same time. Isn't that cool? You can see how much I got out of my hair. And I got, woo! <laughs> all right, let's put on some blush. I'm gonna use, this is from Makeup Revolution and it's called Spice. Um, it's the Fast Base Blush. Cream color for cheeks and lips. So why don't we use this for lipstick too? Look how bright this is. But that's okay. Look at the brightness in my shirt. So I'm going to put a little bit of this on my cheeks. I'm just going to take the cream blush. Look, how, look at this, right? I'm just going to take the cream blush and I'm going to dab my brush into it. Look at, you do not need a lot. And I'm just going to kind of tap it just above where I contoured and bronzed on both sides. And let me tell you, if you like blush and you like the old fashioned look, Yowza, this is for you. Now I'm going to go back with the kabuki that I used for contouring. And I'm just going to gently swirl this blush in, bringing it up to just above the outside corner of my eye. Look at that. Same on this side. Isn't that pretty? I experimented with this for a while and I really, really liked it. And I'll keep it out and we'll see how it works as a lipstick. That is so pretty. I'm not going to powder yet. I'm going to put on the eyeshadow. This color in my crease as a transition color, which I say base color, I'm going to use this color right here is like, it's like a gray. I think I'm going to use it. I'm going to use this over my lid. I'm going to use this under my eyebrow, and I'm going to use this in the center of my eye. See, see, a lot of a lot flies off of this palette. Now I remember. But I also remember how great it went on, too. And a lot of people have been mentioning what's in some of these eyeshadow palettes from Timo. I have really, really sensitive eyes, you guys. I mean, I can't wear certain mascaras. I can't wear certain... Um, some eyeshadows. As a matter of fact, the Artistry eyeshadow palette from Urban Decay. Uh, because of the pigments in the colors, whatever they use to get that electric color, it does bother my eyes. And so I have to be very careful with the placement of it. Because when I put the orange on right here, I got some of it in my eyes. So I will, what I'll be doing is wetting those and putting it on with my finger so they'll stay put and they won't, you know, go into my eyes. And I know that there was some controversy about that palette um, in the United States, not in the UK, but in the United States. 
that is such a pretty color. Okay, now I'm going to take that shimmery white and I'm going to put it under my brow. And bring This is a nude palette. And I think I paid like $11 for it, if that. So, you know, compare eleven dollars to sixty nine and I you know, and I've heard so many wonderful things about I love Natasha's concealer, you know, um, but sixty nine dollars, no, I don't want to give that kind of money up right now. I'll wait. I'll wait for a sale. I keep saying that. <laughs> then I find a dupe and I never end up buying it. Okay. Now I'm going to take this darker color right here and I'm going to just brush that close to my eyelash line. To I need a little more. I want it to be dusky looking. That's my dog snoring in the background. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pencil brush from Sigma and I'm going to go into that same color and I'm just going to bring it underneath my eye. That is really pretty. Now I'm going to take the Sigma fluffy brush This is a really nice blending brush because when you make circles, look what it does. It The brush circles basically on its own. Pretty. That pink for a little bit of a pop. And I think that I might take, with my pinky, some of this white that I put under my eyebrow and place it just in the corner. Same with on this side. I wanted to show you something. You guys know how I love my nails to be done. I love wear I love wearing nail polish, but my job just makes it so difficult. I'll put nail nail polish on one day and the next day it's gone. And so over the weekend, I noticed that my nails were getting long again. But I had bought my favorite Kiss nails a couple weeks ago. These do not come with glue, so they're about $4.39. And so I bought some Kiss glue, and I was getting ready to do my nails this weekend, and I said, why am I doing that? My nails look nice just the way they are. See, these are my nails. And I decided to wait. I decided to wait till one of these breaks and then I have to cut them before I put on my kiss nails. So that's that. And I think that's everything that I really wanted to tell you. That's it. And I did a card reading for the month of September 2023. What's coming down the road for everyone and it's a pick a pile so that was my first one doing that. I just ordered a special selfie stick to do those kinds of readings. And you should have seen what I did today. I had to tape. I t had a wooden rod and I had to tape my selfie stick with duct tape. And I had to bend my selfie stick because it wouldn't stay. It wouldn't stay straight. It just kept going wah. And I needed it to come up over my head. 
So with a wooden rod, a chair, and some duct tape, tape, we made it work, but it's not quite perfect. I had, I couldn't flip the phone down like I wanted it to be, but I said, I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to do it anyway. And that is, <clears throat> that is the energy we need to have right now. It's not really smooth. It's kind of like a crayon. So if you're a novice with eyeliner, this might be a good choice for you because it's thick. It's like a, it's like a crayon and you can kind of draw it on. If it's a, if it's a liner in, in a container with a brush, they tend to be more liquidy and you don't you don't have that control oh my gosh i love this color this color is so beautiful all right i will be back with the rest of my makeup on okay my friends time to put on the blush as a lipstick. Let's put some of this for lipstick. This doesn't have a smell. It's just a product smell. I watched an old video of Lucille Ball the other night. She was on the Johnny Carson show and I was looking at her lips and I thought, her lips really were shaped different. Bright. It's pretty though. It's really pretty. I would definitely wear this as a lipstick. Thank you again for being here. I love you so much. Share my channel with your family and friends. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Click the notification bell to all for future uploads and give me a thumbs up. You know, I'm asking everybody to subscribe if you haven't. Okay, my friends, be well, be blessed, be beautiful because you are, because there is nobody else on the planet like you. And if you want to rock this color lipstick, you do it. You do it because life is too short to not enjoy and have fun and be creative and be who you are because you're beautiful. Until next time. You know I love ya.